Hey, what's up, Period Six? How you doing? Yeah. Good. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, happy faces everywhere. Happy faces. Okay. Um, what we're gonna do today is look at triangles, and triangles can be categorized into two groups. Uh, you could classify them by their angles or by their sides. So as you can see, there are some names up here that we have for sides. Uh, very common to you guys, I'm sure. So let's get rolling. Uh, let's make a new page and let's do it again. Let's talk about sides first. When you have a triangle with three equivalent sides, you have an equilateral triangle. That would be one of these suckers right here. Oh yeah. All three sides are exactly the same. And in math or geometry, to show equivalence, there's a little mark that we put. So I can say this side, uh, using a green mark, is the same as that side, another green mark. Durr, right? Three exact same symbols, all sitting on three different sides of the triangle, mean equivalence. So they're like little hash marks. So this is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral comes from the Greek, or I should say from the Latin. Equi, equi means same, like equivalent, equal. Lateral means side. <laughs> so when football players are doing lateral drills, they're moving side to side. And the red means equal. Equal sides. That was not hard. Cool. OK, I don't know how else to teach that. Uh, let's now put up here an isosceles triangle. Just kidding, not isosceles. This is called isosceles. Yeah, I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> All right, these two sides that I'm marking, this time I'm just using two hash marks just to make them different than what I did previously. When you see markings along sides and you see a pair, those two are exactly the same. Two sides of a triangle being the same are called isosceles. 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 Okay. I don't know where that came from language wise. <laughs> so I can't really tell you how come it's two. Fair enough? Alright, and our third triangle? I'm running out of space already. I'll have to draw it. Alright. This is known as a scalene triangle. OK, just pretend all my dots connect there. I can't seem to make it right now. A scalene triangle has three different sides. So this side is one measurement. Down below is a different measurement. And there's a third different number for the side. So you can see, I use hash marks to show difference. None of them have the same hash marks. Such a triangle is called scalene. And that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say about that.